a black base coat, paint the entire area with Stegadon Scale Green. In the top half area, paint just the raised aspects with Dinky by Darkness. Once you get to about halfway down the model, spread out the paint so it covers the majority of the area. Basically this is the approach for the rest of the tutorial, is that the top half is more of a darkened part of it, therefore you're only going to do finer highlights, whereas the further towards the base you pick out larger and larger areas. What I used is Sotec Green, and this is the step that really starts to make the colour transitions pop out, and as before, picking the raised edges in the top half and almost the entirety of the details in the bottom half. The next step is to repeat this process using Temple Guard Blue. At this stage you're already putting the upper highlights as being quite thin, um, picking out the raised detail and allowing the deeper recesses to remain in the darker colours. But once you get down towards the bottom of the model, as again, spread out the paint a bit more and by the time you're getting to the very bottom, the entirety of the areas are to be painted this colour. Now progress on to Baharoth Blue using the same approach. My Baharoth Blue is one of the older edge paints, so it's quite pigmented, so you need to dilute it down a good amount. Um, if you have the newer formulation of it, you probably don't need to do it as much. But particularly on the lower areas, the thinner the paint, the easier the transitions. Now using blue hair, pick out smaller areas again. This is quite a bright colour, so this is where the upper area of the model needs only small amounts of highlight. But there will be one further colour, so just even enough space for a smaller white highlight afterwards.
final color is white scar and this is reserved for the most extreme highlights and the most distal parts of the lower half of the model um, keep this paint thin enough that it transitions well with the previous colors but when you're picking out the sharp highlights don't thin it down too much or it'll spread over the detail And this is the finished result. If you like this video, feel free to check out the channel where I have numerous other painting tutorials.